Julio Laras is one of the most important living Cuban artists of our time. Yes, and joining us now is Mauricio Sampogna from Art of the World Gallery. This is so cool. You know, I, I'd never heard uh, uh, of him until I started researching when we found out you were coming on the show. But his works kind of take you back through the years in Cuba before the revolution. Correct, yeah. Um, this is actually a very reoccurring theme on uh, his artwork. He likes to depict uh, a lot of political characters. Uh, there's religious undertones. They're very open sexually, ac actually, um, about uh, their culture. Um, and it's great with color. As you can see, he loves painting water as Cuba is a beautiful island. Um, he, oh, look at that yeah. necklace. Oh, yes. Uh, women of luxury, men in power. These are all very uh, common themes in his artwork, along with these reoccurring characters. Now, Julio is 73 years old today, right. which is awesome, 73 years strong. And you guys, uh, your gallery has been representing uh, him for a very long time, right? Yes, correct. If I'm not mistaken, it's been about 11, 12 years since uh, the directors, uh, Mauricio Barrio con Liliana Molina, have been representing him. And they've been working alongside for a very long time. And it's been a very successful uh, partnership that they've been having throughout the years. I know it's kind of hard to see on TV, but I love that uh, this painting right here, there's, there's texture to it. Yes, so this is the Pearl Diver, of course, how I mentioned. Julio Larraz loves depicting the water from Cuba, it's very clear. Um, a lot of the themes are very mysterious, spy-oriented. So here we can see the nude woman carrying what appears to be a triton. So it's... Oh, it like right here, right? Correct, right here. So it makes you wonder, where is she going? What is she searching for? Of course, the title kind of says it all. But uh, it's still great, and it plays with the imagination. So it's one of my personal favorites, according you know, due to the color. So I think it's a wonderful piece that most people do Mauricio, enjoy. I'm going to fix your mic right there. Thank there you. you go. I have wiggly ears. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Let's move on over to this piece. I really love the simplicity of this yes. piece. Tell us a little bit about it. So this is for flag and country kind of a reference to America. Uh, there was a huge part that the Americans had to play before the revolution in Cuba. So this is a simple depiction of a political man in power uh, pledging to the flag of the United States. And as we see, Julio Larraz likes to kind of split the canvas with the colors. We have this yellowish green, the blue, and he doesn't distract you with the minor details. It's all focusing on the importance of the character. And the beauty's in the simplicity. The beauty's in the simplicity. You know, I went to Cuba back in 2003, and it was one of the most incredible places. The artwork that you've brought today, I, th I think, is just beautiful. And also yeah. great that he's still alive at 73. Yeah. No, he's still working. We're very excited to be working with well, him. Well, Mauricio, thank you so thank much. You and for much. more information, you can visit artoftheworldgallery.com.